Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and I hope that everyone is doing good. And this video is quite different due to the heartbreaking events unfolding in Palestine, the genocide of the Palestinian people and amidst all that chaos, the silence and indifference of powerful key figures that can stop this war but they are choosing not to. So it's very crucial as a normal person to align our choices with those friends that support peace, justice, and humanitarian values. So in this video, I have tried to make a list of all those brands that are pro-Palestinian or have no direct ties with Israel. These are the brands that I've personally tried and tested. And there may, be, there may be other brands, but I have made a list of those that I have tested and tried. Uh, so, and I'm sure that they are good. So yeah, let's explore these brands and without further ado, let's get started. So the first one is... Huda Beauty <laughs> needs no introduction. It's one of the few brands that are very vocal and supporting the Palestinian cause. And um, the products are really great. Particularly love their foundation. Easily available in most of the countries. And it's a UAE based brand. So yeah, top loss on the pro Palestinian brand list. Let's move on to the next one. The next one is my personal favorite. It is a Pakistani brand that offers great quality and it's very affordable, particularly if you are Indian or have brown skin, then it's great for you. It's Luscious Cosmetics. You might have seen me using the brand in some of my videos. Great, great products. And I'll show you how the blush looks like. So just see how pretty it looks very very pretty blush suits indian complexion a lot and this brand is also led by a female entrepreneur uh, and her name is maribano seti and this brand is cruelty free and vegan and affordable as i have told you and as a pakistani brand obviously it's a pro-palestinian brand so yeah do give it a try and i just vouch for this brand seriously especially their blushes lipsticks and eyeshades great 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 and on number three we have Note Beauty, a beauty brand from Turkey. And this brand is vegan, it's halal, it's cruelty free, it's affordable, and it's uh, easily available in EU and most parts of Asia. Has a wide range of products available. So, yeah, go give it a try. Although it's not a pro Palestinian brand, but yes, it has no direct ties with Israel. And I love its highlighter called Terracotta. Here it is. I'll show you how pigmented it is. Ooh. I'm going like anything. See, this highlighter is great. I think it complements or is a dupe of one of the highlighters from NARS. I forgot its name, but I'm not going to like post the picture of it in my blog. But it's a great, great, great product. Although Turkey, Turkey has other brands like Flormar or Golden Rose, but I particularly love Nude Beauty. So let's see what's on number four. And on number four, we have Pat McGrath. And I'm a fan of their lipstick and foundation. And well, Pat McGrath's explicit stance on the Palestinian cause uh, isn't showcased. It maintains no ties with Israel. So yeah, go give it a try. And on number five, we have a Korean brand called Innisfree. It's easily available in the US and in most countries in Asia. And it's, I guess, uh, one of the top most uh, makeup brand in Korea uh, because of the skincare infused makeup. Uh, like a Pat McGrath, it is not a pro-Palestinian brand, but yes, it has no direct ties with Israel. And now number six, we have an Italian brand called Kiko, Kiko Milano. 
and I'm sure most of you might have heard about it and it's also easily available in most parts of the world and I really love its uh, face palette and lipsticks and this brand is also not um, a pro Palestinian brand but uh, it has no direct ties with Israel. And on number 7, we have Makeup Revolution, a UK-based brand, and it's very popular throughout the world due to its affordable and versatile makeup, also high quality, and it's uh, easily available everywhere. Uh, it's not a pro-Palestinian makeup brand, but it has no direct ties with Israel. And now number eight, we have Bourjois, my favorite, favorite makeup brand. It's a part of the Coty group, and I really love its amazing products, especially the Pamsila, which I have in my hand. And it's great for acne prone, oily skin, and it's really thin and very long lasting and very affordable. And it smells heavenly. <laughs> So if you like fragrances in makeup, then you would love it. Also, if you have acne prone skin and live in a hot climate, then I, uh, I swear by this product. This like, only will last you like six months or seven months and throughout the day. So yeah, great, great product. Again, it's not a pro-Palestinian makeup brand, but Kodi has no direct ties with Israel. So yeah, go get it. And on number 9, we have Lakme, which is India's pride, number one makeup brand uh, from India. And I really love their cotton pencil, so, so pigmented. And the brand is also easily available in uh, some parts of Asia. But yes, it has availability challenges, but the products are really good and affordable. It's not a pro-Palestinian brand, but Lakme has no direct ties with Israel. It's part of uh, Unilever Hindustan. And on number 10, we have Ingrid Cosmetics. It's a Polish brand and uh, it's one of my favorite uh, brands because it's so, so amazing. All the products that I've tried from this brand, and there are a lot, are amazing of top-notch quality. The only downside is its availability. It's not easily available outside EU. So you have to get it from your friend or someone who is visiting EU. Uh, so yeah, it's again a Polish brand and um, it is not a pro-Palestinian brand, but yes, it has no direct ties with Israel. So go get it and use it. On number 11, we have Wet n Wild, and it is a makeup brand from USA, but it is actually owned by Mark Wins, a Taiwanese group, and Wet n Wild is a household name, and I think everyone will agree that how amazing, versatile, and creative Wet n Wild is. If you are looking for body shimmers, face shimmers, uh, face painting palettes then uh, you can easily find these in Red and Wild. Also if you are uh, looking for Scooby Doo makeup and more and more inspired makeup then you can find that on um, Red and Wild and you can get a discount code by visiting my website aishablogs.com so yeah, do visit it and um, find the discount code and get the makeup a little bit cheaper so yeah and it's not a pro-palestinian brand but yes it has no direct ties with israel so yeah feel free to use it and buy it as much as you want and the next one is again my favorite brand sapphire cosmetics it's a pakistani brand so obviously it's a pro-palestinian brand and one of the things that i really love about sapphire cosmetics is its affordability high quality and how it has taken inspiration from high-end brands like you know giorgio armani gucci and barbara so if you are looking for makeup like these but in the affordable range then do try out sapphire cosmetics and it's also easily available in most parts of Asia and EU. You just need to go to their website and um, order it from there or you can email them and ask them about the availability. So yeah, it's on the pro-Palestinian makeup list. Then we have an amazing brand 
on number 13 that is essence cosmetics a german brand and it is also known for its affordability and versatility of the products uh, and it's also available everywhere easily be it in the us in the eu or in asia you can find it easily and i really love uh, essence kajal pencils because they are so pigmented they are so affordable and they are so good so yeah do try it out again it's not a pro palestinian brand but it has no direct ties with israel so yeah do try it out and at last we have fame cosmetics it's not a very known cosmetic brand but it's really good i've tried once their lipstick and uh, unfortunately i don't have it with me and i cannot get it because you know, it's not easily available in most parts of the world it has availability challenges and it's found it's it's a brand from malaysia if you're wondering so because it's a malaysian brand so yeah obviously it's a pro-palestinian uh, makeup brand it's in the list of pro-palestinian makeup brand because malaysia has no diplomatic relations with israel does not recognize israel so yeah uh if you are in far east or if you can get your hands on fame cosmetics do try out and i'm sure you are gonna love it. its lipsticks so this brings us to the end of our video and the aim of this video was to introduce you to those brands uh, that are pro-Palestinian, that have no direct ties with Israel and most importantly don't have their hands tainted with innocent blood. So yeah, uh, do check these brands and I'm sure that you're going to fall in love with these brands because of their amazing quality and these brands are tried and tested by me and i'm gonna keep on adding more brands in the pro palestinian makeup list um but probably make a, a new video about it or probably add it in my blog uh so yeah keep on um watching my channel and visit my website but my next video is going to be about the skincare brands that are pro palestinian so don't miss that video and if you'd like to know how to order these brands and want to read my blog then do visit my website aishablogs.com and until we meet again take care of yourself love you guys and ciao